anything I do, I make sure that my grandmother would be pleased with it, my family would be pleased with it, because my integrity and who I am as a person means more to me than getting a check. I'm not perfect. However, I strive to be the best that, that I can be. So we care about putting images out there that kind of contradicts the ones that are so, you know, it's not it's not cool how women are portrayed in, on television. Mm -hmm. African American women from India, women from Africa, women from mm -hmm. China, just there's women all over the world that are not treated fairly and we we care about that, we care about a positive image because um, we kind of, we went through that as young women ourselves. Okay. It begins with you. If you're living a life to where you don't feel good about yourself, because no matter what you get involved in, at the end of the day, you're left with a feeling. If you don't feel good about yourself, there's something that you're doing that's causing you to not feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to respect the fact that you have a value. And if you don't think you're valuable, no one else is going to think that or feel that for you. So you have to be very honest. Get away from your friends who you choose to be around and say, how do I feel about me? And when I'm with these people, how do I feel? Because you, that's real life and that's called maturity. Because you're in high school for a season. It's just a season. So it's important that you evaluate your life, but that's what mature people do. YouTube is quick, the internet is quick, but life is a process. If something doesn't sit right within you, within your spirit, and it doesn't line up with what you're trying to do or the direction that you're trying to go, let it go. Get rid of it. Don't even entertain it. because, And that's something that these kids are going to, they need to learn from themselves. And they need to tune in and really try to be on one accord with themselves and God to try to be able to discern between the mess and the good stuff. It has to be something inside yourself that tells you, no matter what anybody else tells me, I'm still going to make it. There's always some dreams that are unfulfilled. Get out there and, and you know, um, keep doing, even do more of what I'm doing. Be an example because we only go by, you know, as children, we're sponges and we suck up what we see and hear. Whatever it is that you can do that's positive, you know, when you listen to music, mm -hmm. you know, go to school, read books, be around positive people. Take that back to your environment and don't let the environment turn, turn you bitter or angry through the things they may have to say about you not being cool. Right. I'm absolutely living my dream because my dream all my life has been to help women. And I'm a woman and I'm helping myself and I'm helping to thousands, build thousands and millions of women with my story. So I believe I'm living my dream. Knowing what God says about me is true and what you says, say about me that's negative is irrelevant because that's why I'm in the you know, position that I'm in in the first place. You know, So what God says is real. What the negative say and the naysayers say is nothing. Yes. <laughs> believe in yourself, believe in God, and believe everything that God says about you because it's everything that you are. It's imperative for me to help all the, the singers, you know, the, the younger singers that kind of came up behind me because I don't want anyone to suffer through what I suffered through because I almost ended up with nothing, meaning dead, broke, whatever you want to call it. And I don't want anyone, I, I believe that I was given this position not just for myself, but to be an example to them because they are me. Here we go. Excuse me.